Welcome, welcome. Jump in, say hi in the chat. Feel free to chat with each other. We're just giving it a moment for everyone to kind of join in. So feel free to say hi. Um, I guess you can see my hands here, but no, I really enjoy this event. I hope that you guys um, take away a few ideas or inspiration or more than anything, just get that itch to set aside some time to create some scrapbooking pages of your own. And I always enjoy when I get a chance to just play to create because it really can be fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on just using this month's featured sets. And so, of course, those that are you know, have been around with Kiwi Lane, know that we feature sets every month. But if you are new to Kiwi Lane, uh, let us know in the chat if you have any questions. But basically, I am going to take just a few sets. <clears throat> so for this month, we are focusing on Triangles, Sunnybrook, The Border, Blossom, and then even the Farmstead, um, which is going into the vault. So make sure if you don't have this one to get it, I'll just plug that for whatever it's worth. But we're just going to basically uh, focus on the design steps, and I'm hoping to give a few tips, but like I said, if you have any questions, shoot it in the chat. Sonia's here from the team. She's going to keep an eye in the chat. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I will answer them as I go. So this is your chance to ask any questions if you find that when you sit down to kind of design with the designer templates, if you kind of get stuck in a certain spot, let me know and we can walk through that together and uh, hopefully again walk away with a little bit of inspiration but also insights and in how you can you know personally play with the designer templates yourself as you sit down to scrapbook now here's what's beautiful about this process is that we're not going to stare at an empty page right so the whole point of the designer templates is to help ease the design process, but also to kind of jump start, get you kick started into creating a page, right? Now, the first part is, of course, to what come up with an idea, right? Like, what am I going to start with? Like, what I did? And typically, you know, and I remember this true for myself, you would spend like hours looking online or trying to figure that out. And Although there's lots of inspiration to be had from that, a lot of it comes from the tactile play. So just playing with the designer templates really will give you a lot of that inspiration to kind of build that foundation of your page. And then once you kind of get that going, things start to, of course, because of that how creativity and the flow works, but things start to they open up. Make and, nearly as much as they could. Oh, we have someone. So can you meet that person? Thank you. So that's really what. I usually just sit down to do. Now, I will be honest, again, if there are some of you that are kind of still getting familiar to, with this process, it really is a matter of giving yourself permission to play for one, and then you'll end up with creating something. That's why we call it play to create, because it's just gonna kind of roll through those, those obstacles and play as we do so. Um, but I remember initially, it is a little bit of a transition to allow yourself to kind of just first start by getting out of your own head for the most part. And I, that was true for myself as well. But I will say that the more often I do it, the more second nature it comes. So here is the kicker. So this is one of the border sets. Okay. And I want to do it. I want to approach this a little bit differently than I normally do. I want to take the border set. And I'm going to start with that to basically build a frame for my page. Now we also have triangles in here. Now triangles is a great, basically a, like a contour design that allows you to build this like background that you can build layers on top of at that point, right? And I'm gonna start with the border and show a layout design, but then I'm gonna start over again. And we're gonna go from starting with a larger accessory like the triangles, and do another layout. All right. Okay. <laughs> so let's get started. So with the borders, of course, they come with the three designs. And so I always like to just kind of take an assessment of that set and kind of take a look at it. Now, of course, depending on how many pictures you're scrapbooking or what pictures you're scrapbooking, 
that will also inspire you in various different ways how you approach it. But for me, it's really, you know, I just grab a, I just grab one of the pairs. And because I know that there's no, like, I'm not committed to this design yet. I haven't cut or traced into anything. And so really, I just, I don't think I could say that word enough. Just play, just allow yourself to play and see what you come up with. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of times people are like, man, you make it look so easy. And I think it's just because when I'm demoing, I, I have that kind of ability just to be like, oh, what if, right? Like, what if I did something here? And all right, well, let me see. You know, I really like the triangles. Maybe I tuck a triangle here. And so it's just really a matter of kind of laying down, layering, because the designer templates, you know, they are great at encouraging fun layering options, again, through that tactile play and um, allowing us as scrapbookers to just occasionally in our lives get out of, get out of our heads. And so this is kind of that, that moment when you sit down to scrapbook and you have that free time to just kind of say, okay, you know what? There's no pressure. You don't need to bring pressure into it. You can sit here and just kind of adjust and go. Now I've heard this tip before because I think it's a very valuable tip and that is to kind of set a time frame that you're gonna allow yourself to pray, play because there is so many options. Like the, the, the designer templates will spark endless inspiration. There are so many ways you can layer and mix and match these sets. And so when you're doing it, you could say, oh, but I don't know. And you can overthink it that way as well. And so for me, I always kind of like to hold myself, um, I guess, accountable in a sense, to maybe like 10 or 15 minutes because you can so get lost in the designing phase. But ultimately, again, the goal is to kind of kickstart it, get you started, which is getting started can be the hardest part. And then ultimately get into that middle section of the creating phase where you can just kind of let go, like, right, trace, cut, ink, replace, and you can kind of get let go and then um, also uh, benefit from the flow state of creation. So because, of course, this is our preferred hobby here, of course, scrapbooking, it's really valuable to also benefit from that. So from that flow state, it's so valuable for your health. And a lot of that joy that we often express about scrapbooking, that's really where that's coming from. All right. So just keep that in mind. That's the goal. And then you can sit here and, like I said, give yourself permission to maybe play around with the little things. Now, a sketch is always great. I've talked highly about sketches or layouts. Anything that can be that springboard to push you forward and help you to, um, you know, create a page that you'll get that fulfillment out of. Super beneficial. I was just looking at this thinking, oh, it's kind of like a little tag. I love that about triangles. You could treat them as little tags, little tab. And so great way to kind of build again, that background, it gives you that nice little look there. And then you can kind of flow across your page. Super fun. Okay, hold on. I think I have a she might have accidentally clicked the wrong button on her phone. That is okay because we can wait for her to hop back on. I'm sure she'll be here in just a second. I know that I've been seeing a lot of cute layouts posted in the Facebook group, Kiwi Lane Facebook group, the scrapbooking ideas of people who have already scrapbooked with the one in a melon kit, the spotlighted sets, of course, the triangles, the sunny brook, the farm set, and the blossom have been featured in those layouts. So if you're looking for ideas on scrapbooking this month, I would hop over to the Kiwi Lane Facebook ideas scrapbooking group because there is not a lack of ideas over there, so, um, which is really nice. Okay, I think we have Susan back. Hi, Susan. Hi, guys. 
that's that's the first i'm not gonna lie my phone started ringing and uh it kicked me straight out of that zoom call so i apologize good we were just talking about all the wealth of ideas that are over in the kiwi lane scrapbooking ideas group this month so far with oh my gosh yes i am loving all of the ideas one with the those that are club members using the one in a mil million um it's such a fun set and there's lots of ideas i'm itching 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 for the pj plating but it's on the calendar so for me i really like that now honestly talking about the kiwi club set it's also here talking about the feature sets we always design those for those of that like to kind of enhance and level up your designs this is where those kiwi club kits because i could throw this little of course adorable design in and it's going to take that that basic design that we had with the triangles there and just elevate that <laughs> i am in love with these uh triangle trims they're so fun even over here such a cute way and that's what's really great about the designer templates is again they really help encourage fun layering options and so really taking advantage of that and then of course the um they utilize your paper in ways that lead to, of course, delightfully beautiful pages. And I am loving seeing what everybody's pages in the community looks like. And each one feels so different because, of course, you change that paper or, you know, change that and it changes that look as well. So, so many fun ways. Okay, so that's kind of a basic layout here, right? Super fun and easy. And then um, I will just clearly state a few things when I go to pick out my paper this is where we kind of talk about main patterns versus supporting patterns and if you haven't had a chance i highly recommend for those of you that are club members to um, jump into the picture perfect event we talk about that along with pictures we talk about paper and then i know that mindy every month when she's doing the kiwi club kit on on reveal even if you're not a club member, check that one out because she talks about the theory of Kiwi Lane's paper and how it was designed. But with that said, if I was looking at this, because a lot of times people are like, great, you have this designed, but how are you going to choose what paper, right? And for me, I've always kind of stuck to where my main patterns go into my borders. And so for me, that's like an easy pattern and rhythm that I can follow. And honestly, um, it's also proven to be effective, but also the results have proven to be really um, appeasing, pleasing to the eye and to spotlight my pictures in a very pleasing way as well. So for me, it's hand in hand. I like that creative uh, touch in my pages, but I also want my pictures to shine um, on that creation as well. And so I would start with my borders. And I would put the, the busier patterns in the borders. And here's why. It's because the borders, because of the, the sizing of them, can hold the weight of the busier patterns. All right? So for me, it always kind of pulls out those busier patterns into that the, the foundation of your frame. The same thing with maybe some of these larger background pieces. Those are large enough to also hold the busier patterns, all right? If you guys have any questions, let me know. I can grab some paper. But I think I would, I would just kind of emphasize some of those, those things in consideration once you get to the tracing and cutting. Then from there, it's really just a matter of, like, I might have a red flower and a yellow, and that's where you would break those, those busier patterns with some um, either like blenders or like polka dots, like supporting patterns to kind of um, blend out those pages a little bit uh, in those in those um, pattern papers, okay? All right, so now I did mention at the first part of this that I would love to take um, a moment and then backtrack to that initial phase again where we're staring at an empty page <clears throat> like this, right? Let me clear out my, my canvas here. One of my go-tos is to start with my borders. I always like to start framing my page with the borders. These make it super easy. And I can, you know, again, top, bottom, left, right. All of those options are available, but they give me a an element 
to start layering around and of course moving basically basically on this playground you're basically treating it as like your backgrounds as a little pit playground that you're just going to design on top of all right okay now if you want to start with like larger organs like your larger designs like this one um those again are going to be great for because of the size for kind of more of a, that layered look and so if you maybe want to do something a little bit more you know uh like maybe a different style where maybe you don't throw in a border i'm always tempted to throw in borders just because i feel like it grounds the design so well but let's let's try a few without um those borders as well <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of fun thing here but the triangles really do give you a nice little background that again it's almost like a wallpaper background for your design and then you could throw your photos on and see you know what let me see what we can do here and you can go for more of that look using these larger um, background uh, designs and then again what it's going to do is give you that pop of color but then uh, showcase your photos right so bring in your photos kind of front and centered here actually and if you like the more collagey look the grouping which is always fun every once in a while to do that could be really cute too you do something like that now as far as all this white space white space for me is really good because it lets your design breathe right you don't want to overwhelm it necessarily if you want more pictures then you can try a variety of different sizes um if you if your four by sixes are able to be trimmed down and you could tell actually let me grab this picture i have right here by using the photo sets again as kind of that uh tool to help you crop down your pictures but also to kind of test if your pictures are ones that you're you're okay with cropping down and by cropping your pictures down from a four by six it gives you again a little bit more breathing room but able to fit a few more pictures into your design okay let me see what other elements if you only have a few it's easy enough right but definitely if you're wanting to do something like this add a few more pictures like if you're wanting to add a few more into the mix then this is where maybe three by fours come in handy cute and you kind of do across designs like that you can also break up i was just going to throw another four by six but you know what i'm going to just play for a moment and kind of maybe bookend that with a little flower there super cute this of course is in the club collection so you could create cute layers or you could pull over like the flowers from left to right you'll see on the right side i went top heavy on the flower on the left side i went bottom with the flower same thing with the triangles i kind of went center here but then pulled that um, scallop look down to the bottom right so those are things that you can kind of keep in mind if you're doing a two page layout if you're doing a one page spread easy enough you can kind of just design that first page um, in that fashion as well but um those are things that i just kind of like naturally look for if i'm thinking oh it's a little heavy on the left just flop some design elements uh over to the other side and or vice versa um, you can um do opposite corners as well. Okay, so those are little things you can keep in mind when you're creating here. I actually think I'll add a little bit, I'll add the leaves over here just to um, thicken up that design. This is a bigger flower, so maybe I'll thicken up that design that way. And here's even the small triangles. I'm gonna stick them in here. Triangles are super fun. You guys probably have seen a lot of designs from triangle. I mean, honestly, you could probably go to Pinterest 
and you could type in um, scrapbooking layouts with triangles. And you probably would see so many different designs that you could easily accomplish with these desire templates uh, in various different styles, whether that's like a simple clean style, a layered style, a more traditional style. And they, they really are a lot of fun. And these are just little accent pieces. That's usually how these smaller triangles work into the design is just imagine it's just being a pop of color. It doesn't have to have any reason or purpose. It's just there to kind of fill in that space, but also to give a little bit of pop of color to your design. So super fun. But it could also be a really fun place to add some journaling if you want and, and more of a designated spot. And so that could be really cute. I love using these little this little triangle of like little pennants across your page. You could do something like that. Again, you could just do a collection of a few. You could put a little few enamel dots around here just to kind of add a little texture or something like that. And I could keep going and add all these or like for me, I think that's really fun. I would probably just grab like that. That's so cute. And if I really wanted to throw in that border to kind of ground the design, I probably could even mix that in if I wanted to. But I did want to show one version where you just kind of went with the um, larger background approach and created more of a collective grouping look. Or you can go more with the borders and create that frame that kind of kickstarts that design for you as well. I'm trying to think of how I would fit that in there. Either way is really fun and super cute. See how that just kind of gives it an anchor. It's kind of anchors that design a little bit. Either way, I think um, both of them work. So, well, do we have any questions, Sonia? No, we do not have any questions. Oh, I you guys are easy tonight. Look at that. Mine is so cute, though, that I might have to copy it. I know. Take some screenshots. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, well, I might put a movie on or something. If it's just layout, well, like, here, it's done. The ten minutes is done. And that design is, and I always enjoy that part where you can, it's fun to play. It's super fun to play. I always enjoy the play. Um, I have feel like I have given myself more and more permission, of course, over the years and just alleviate that that pressure and it's just so fun to be able to sit down and know okay you know just especially after a long day like if it's been a long day but I want to kind of find myself in my room and have a little bit of me time you know it's easy to say oh I'm just too tired but then I say you know what you've been tired before and I pulled out the designer templates and it, they spark inspiration and I know that they spark inspiration and so I sit down and I'm like always surprised where it kind of comes together. And then of course, after that, I just enjoy the rest of the steps because it's like, okay, let me pull out some paper. And, and then I don't have to think as much either after that design process, it's easy enough to put on a show and just get lost in the tracing and cutting and sitting down and just kind of unwinding at the energy end of the day and feeling rejuvenated or re-energized, which um, creating can do for you as well. So. All right, guys. Well, if you don't have any questions for me, thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit. Don't be shy. If you do, feel free to put them in the comments. I will check back later in the community as well over in Facebook group. And you could definitely leave them there. Always willing to help or however we can. But of course, until next time, keep playing to create and we will see you guys in the community. Bye, guys. Thanks again. Enjoy. Bye. Good night.